Dallas offense back out onto the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? First down, Prescott. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. The sack by Robert Quinn. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Draw play, Elliott fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Ezekiel Elliott. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third and long for Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 34. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Caught on the left side by Ginn. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, Chicago! Allen Robinson, 48 yards. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive spanned five plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Pat O'Donnell to 